One of the questions that I get over and over again is, Kevin, do we really need to get the verification, the CIP information, and that certification form signed every single time? And the answer is yes. Every single time you have an entity customer who comes in and opens a new account, uh, you will need to identify the beneficial owners, you'll need to verify their information, and then you'll also need to get that certification form signed that everything is accurate. Um, and I know this can be frustrating, uh, and it can be an inconvenience for some of your best customers. Um, so I get questions like, well, what if they were just in last week and we have all of this information and we know that it's accurate and correct? But the answer is yes, you must do it every single time. Well, what if they come in on a regular basis? Maybe they have a, a revolving line that they renew on a, you know, maybe a quarterly basis. Um, we, this is a customer we know very well. Do we still have to do it every single time? And the answer is yes, you must do it every single time. And nobody likes inconveniencing customers. And that's where I think the, uh, the, the rub and the, and the frustration with this rule is, is going to come from. Uh, it's going to be from loan officers who are just trying to serve their customers and, and eliminate the, this inconvenience that this will pose for them. Um, but that is also why you really need to make sure that all of the members of your team receive adequate training and they really understand this rule and what the requirements are. Um, so maybe you feel like you need more training yourself. Uh, or maybe there are members of your team who could benefit from a, you know, a webinar or a video or, or something so that they can really wrap their heads around the requirements of this new rule. Um, look below. Uh, there's some links to some training opportunities. Um, or you can go to our website at bankerscompliance.com. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the store and we have a variety of materials and aids and uh, training opportunities uh, to help you make sure that you're complying with this rule.